What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be discussing the men's WWE Money in the Bank matchup for 2019. We have all eight participants right here. On the left, we have the four SmackDown competitors, and then on the right, we have the Monday Night Raw competitors. But with all this wild card rule bull crap going down, I mean, are they even are they even Raw and SmackDown superstars? I think they're just WWE superstars. I mean, is the brand split even a thing? But breaking it down, guys, we have CN Almas, Randy Orton, Moose. Mustafa Ali, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Ricochet, Trash Corbin, and Drew McIntyre. And we're going to break down the Money in the Bank match. We haven't really discussed it here on the channel. I tried to upload this video like a week ago, and I, my laptop broke. I was trying to get the rumble done. I, I was struggling because the laptop wasn't working, and I was trying to use my phone, and it didn't work. And then I had to change plans and do a different video. And it was just a bunch of bull crap that went down. And so I'm doing it here today for you guys. And we've never discussed discussed it and it's something that I want to discuss because there's a lot of things wrong with the money in the bank situation uh, let's start off first of all why in the crap did we not have qualifying matchups guys we didn't even have qualifying matchups for this men's money in the uh, money in the bank they just had Alexa Bliss come out and announce on Monday Night Raw Braun Strowman Ricochet Trash Corbin and Drew McIntyre in the match how uncreative is that, guys? I mean, this is the this is the Money in the Bank briefcase, right? This is a championship opportunity to capture the biggest prize in your company, and you're not even having people qualify it. You're just like, yeah, these guys are in it. Who cares? It doesn't matter. That's that's how I receive it as a fan. When you just say, go out there, you're in it. It's just it, there's no prestige behind it. It's just like anybody anybody can win it, and that's just not the way I would do things. It's just not creative, and it's very lazy booking, and it's just not good, man. I, I can't stand that. There should have been qualifying matchups. You could have easily had Sami Zayn and Ricochet go one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, where where the hell's Robert Roode on this night? He could have qualified or at least been in a qualifying matchup. Bray Wyatt, I mean, there, there's a lot of other guys that could have been in uh, uh, qualifying matches in order to get in this thing. On SmackDown Live side of thing, they just had Tom Phillips announce them, right? They were just sitting there and they were like, here's the, here's the SmackDown Live competitors. And then they announced them one-off. And to be honest with you guys, out of all these men, I mean, there's some solid competitors, but then there's some that are just, I do not want them anywhere near this matchup, and that is Jan Strowman and Trash Corbin, first of all. The rest of the guys I can get behind. I love Randy Orton, obviously. Finn Balor, obviously. Ali, I love. Ricochet, I love. I love Drew McIntyre. I don't know if I want him as Mr. Money in the Bank, but I still like him enough for this matchup, and I think he'll do some cool things. Cian Almas is, uh, is a great worker. Even though I'm not a big fan of his character, I still think he's a great worker, and I think that he's going to elevate this matchup, and I think he could walk out with the Money in the Bank briefcase. I think it comes down to Drew McIntyre or Cian Almas. I don't think they're going to put it on anybody else, even though my boy Finn Balor or R Randy Orton or Ricochet would be absolutely cool. I just don't think they're going to do it, especially Ricochet. He's put in this match for one reason, guys, and that's flips and dips. Let's be real. He's just in this match to do some flips and dips, so that's Ricochet's role in this matchup, but we have not discussed this, man. I just wanted to cover a few things in this video and I just thought it was absolutely ridiculous that we didn't have any qualifying matchups for this and they just were like yeah just go out there and do it like this matchup I think would be a lot better if you remove Braun if you remove Trash Corbin if you if you put in Sami Zayn in this matchup if you put some other talent in this matchup I think it would have lifted it up a whole lot more I just I, I don't know man Braun Strowman won it last year that's something else like the last three money in the banks have sort of been ruined for me and I'm gonna break it down for you guys I I know you guys are like, well, what about Dean Ambrose? Yes, just, just let me explain for a second. 2016, we had Dean Ambrose, right? So Dean Ambrose won, and he immediately cashed in. That's fine. That's great. That's terrific. Money in the Bank is my favorite pay-per-view outside the Royal Rumble. I love the stipulation. I love everything around it. So in 2016, yes, Dean Ambrose cashing in was, a, was an amazing moment. I loved it. At, but he cashed in on the same night that he won it. Therefore, I had to wait a whole year before somebody else got it that I liked. I had to wait a whole year before I was surprised with the money in the bank again because he cashed in the night he won it. So that's 365 days later, I got a different person to get the briefcase and maybe they cash in, maybe they don't. So since Dean Ambrose cashed in on the night he won it, the surprise element was completely gone for me. We knew nobody was gonna cash in, so that completely ruined the money in the bank. While it was a great moment, while I loved it, while all that stuff, I still had to wait a year until the next person won it. 
Fast forward to 2017, a year later, I'm like, oh yeah, baby, it's time for the money in the bank again. My favorite thing ever. Let's freaking do it. My least favorite wrestler in the world, Trash Corbin, wins it, and it completely sucked any excitement for it out of the window. I did not give a damn about him. I didn't care if he cashed in, if he won. I didn't care. I was... He's literally, to me, guys, you may say he's a heel. No, to me, he is get off of my TV. I don't want to see you. I don't want to watch you wrestle. I don't want to watch you entertain the people. I don't think you're that good at what you do. And I just don't want, it's like Nia Jax for me. I just, I don't want to see you, man. And so when he won, it ruined it again. I had to, I had to wait a whole nother year. I'm like, oh my God, man. He won, had to wait another year, so that's two years now that the Money in the Bank has been ruined. So fast forward to 2018, Braun Strowman's in the Money in the Bank ladder match. I'm like, there's no way Braun Strowman's going to win this, man. It doesn't fit the character. It'd just be completely stupid. And what do you know? Braun Strowman wins the Money in the Bank ladder match, and that makes three years straight that it's completely ruined for me. I, I used to love Braun Strowman, but I still don't want him to win Money in the Bank. I, I My ship has sailed on Braun Strowman. You guys have heard me say many times on this channel. And so when he won, it was the same thing. It was just, I don't care. I don't want to see it. I, I have no interest in this. And then he failed, of course. So Braun Strowman won and failed. Trash Corbin won and failed when my boy John Cena, you know, ruined his efforts against Jinder Mahal, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. That part I marked out for because it was it was hilarious and I love that. I didn't care for it and I, I didn't care about the whole situation. So it's just been a rough three years for me for the Money in the Bank. It's my favorite pay-per-view outside of the Royal Rumble and I, I cannot stand that they've ruined it three years in a row. Do not make it for WWE. Please, God, have anyone win this besides Trash Corbin and uh, Braun Strowman. I will be fine with anyone else because I know that, you know, asking anything else is too much for WWE. And uh, I, I just hope that somebody else besides Braun Strowman and Trash Corbin walk out of this matchup. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, let's just run through real quick if it would make sense for certain superstars to win it. Drew McIntyre, he's the heavily rumored favorite for this matchup. And that'd be fine with me. You know, it really doesn't fit him all the well. But he is a heel, and I think it would be cool for him to win. Trash Corbin, don't want him anywhere near Money in the Bank ladder match, let alone winning the damn thing. Ricochet doesn't fit his character. I don't like when baby faces hold the Money in the Bank briefcase. I just don't think that they're going to give it to him. He's in this match to do flips and dips. Tra uh... Jan Strowman, same thing as Trash Corbin, don't want him anywhere near pulling down a briefcase at Money in the Bank. Finn Balor would be amazing. I think wearing the Intercontinental title and the Money in the Bank would be fantastic. Maybe you could use it to turn him heel, maybe be creative like the Demon cashes in or something. I talked about that one year. I think that would be so freaking sick if they did that. Um, WWE's not creative, so they're not they're not going to do something cool like that. They're not going to be outside the box with it. Ali, same thing as Ricochet. I just don't see him doing it. Babyface, high flyer, not going to give him the briefcase. Randy Orton would be a really cool one. I love Randy Orton, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And while he's already won Money in the Bank, I'd be fine with him winning it again as long as it means that Trash Corbin and Jan Strowman aren't running around with the Money in the Bank. And he's one of the best heels in the business, so I think it would be great for him to hold the Money in the Bank. And then Andrade would be cool too. I think it would suit his character probably the best out of anybody here. I think that since he's a mid-card talent and a heel, I think it would elevate him very much winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. So I think Andrade, Drew McIntyre, or Randy Orton makes the most sense here. And I hope to God one of those three men win it because as far as character-wise goes, Randy Orton, Andrade, and Drew McIntyre should win it as far as you know, one a, a cool talent that I wouldn't mind winning it, or people that I like that would win it. Um, any of them, but Jan Strowman and Trash Corbin, and, and I will be okay with it. But we'll have to see how it goes, guys. Also, let me know down in the comment section below. Do you want me to do an action figure match? Seems like everybody does action figure matches now. Um, you guys know that that uh, we do some pretty cool action figure matches, so maybe we could do one with these competitors right here. We'll uh, we'll hang the the briefcase above the ring, and we'll do a dead gum. WWE action figure match, and we'll have a really cool, you know, it, it wouldn't be pick fed style, it would be, you know, how I did my Royal Rumble, how I did my Elimination Chamber action figure match. So if you guys are interested in that, please let me know down in the comment section below if you would enjoy that. But that pretty much does it for today's video. Just wanted to get on here, talk about the money in the bank, what's wrong with it, what I expect out of it, 
and I'm excited for it. You know, Money in the Bank's one of my favorite pay-per-views, like I stated, Royal Rumble, Royal Rumble's first, and Money in the Bank is second, so I am excited for it, but... And we're getting Seth Rollins and AJ Styles going one-on-one, -on -one, which is a dream match of mine. I have made videos about it months ago, and we've talked about it here on the channel many, many times. So that is something I'm excited for, and I hope this match delivers. And uh, with all this talent, they should be able to deliver. I just, oh, man, if, if Jan Strowman and Trash Corbin win, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, four years straight, Money in the Bank's ruined. I don't know if I can live with myself, but... Thank you guys for watching. That's going to do it for today's video. Comment down below if you want to see that action figure match. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.